From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big day here on LA Late Late with huge news as unemployment did not surge. The latest numbers coming in from the Department of Labor shows unemployment dropping lower than anything we've seen since the month of June. This is what had happened over recent weeks, going from 140 to 260. Wall Street was looking for 245. It came in even lower than that. All the latest details across the board. It's been a major week, but the major story, I think, of the entire week came late yesterday. That major story late yesterday was the comments from the Federal Reserve President Lorraine Mester that says that the Federal Reserve will sustain with those interest rate spikes for a while. We'll go over the latest details that you need to know today on Afternoons LA. The great news is that there is now 12 categories of checks. Yes, 12 categories of checks for you to get. I'm going to go over those incredible categories that yield about 100 to 200 checks. Huge. Three passed by three passed by the president, seven passed by Congress, and then two new this week. Plus, today I have another stimulus offering. It's brand new on this channel in several months. It's not new inherently, but it's great news for you. Three offerings. Oh boy, I have that coming up later in this video. Stay to the very end. But the exciting news is that this money is here and ready to rock and roll. I'm going to go over all those incredible sums of money. Also, I'll be going over the raise of your benefits. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and more. It's gauged based upon what's going on with inflation. Plus, a new report out about housing says it's going to be really dark. It's going to be a very, very pronounced recession. The most significant we've seen for the housing market in recession for many, many years. That's why you have to become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. And congratulations to Dragon and Margaret have now become the first two members on all three channels of this broadcasting family. LA1, LA2, and LA3. The breaking news from the shores of Santa Monica, California heats up on a blistering hot afternoon today. It's a beautiful September. What happened to September? We're in September. That's what happened to it. The breaking news starts right here, right now on Afternoons. <laughs> And good afternoon, everybody. Oh, yeah, I've had a beautiful day for the coast of Santa Monica, California. It's no, it's September 1, 2022, and it also feels like Death Valley. <laughs> it feels like Death Valley. It's blistering hot, and it's going to be hot for at least a week. So expect me to be uh, a little bit glowing on camera. Not so glowing is the housing market. Real big trouble for them. Clearly in a recession. Massive news overnight. I have the latest details on that. Plus the big shocker. Inflation, has it peaked? No, it has not. And But potentially, maybe the labor claims have. Those labor claims dropped hideously, massively today. It's great news. This is the track up over the last few weeks. What did it come in? It's breaking news on a big, bold afternoons. Plus, we have more earnings recession, more companies downward guiding for the rest of this year. We're going to go over what you need to know on that front today. It's huge and everything that's at issue. It's a big day with so much money. I'm excited you're here from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Let's get to it. It's your economy. It's your recession. It's your inflation. It's for benefit raise. It's also your housing market and your unemployment. The breaking news on your four stimulus heats up right now as well. It's a beautiful afternoon of afternoons. All right. How are you? September 1. Here we are. Whatever happened to September? Well, we're in September. How are you? You know, it's very hot here, so I can now sympathize for everyone who has had horrible weather, and I've had great weather. <laughs> LA will have horrible weather for at least another week, so expect me to be a little bit on edge, a little bit red, a little bit frustrated with things. Uh, basically, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> basically match. Uh, let's get to the breaking news right now. The breaking news that we start with is, of course, those jobless claims. Wow. 
There were 140,000 jobless claims in the U.S. economy. That's as weekly people newly claiming unemployment benefits back in April. Then it went to 200. I projected it was going to go to 230. It did. Then I projected it was going to go to 260. It did. Once it got to 260, I said, I'm not going to project this anymore because something strange is going on. And I did it. It went from 260 to 255. 250. Then 250 to 240. Uh, 345, it kept on getting revised. And I said, hey, it's basically the same. In fact, going into today's recording, I said, expect something around 240, 243, 245. And in fact, I'm not alone because that's what Wall Street said. They were looking for 245, 245,000 new jobless claims today. Uh, I'm glad I didn't really predict this one. I just said, maybe. <laughs> Look how I'm walking that back. I said, maybe. Well, guess what? It was 232,000 jobless claims. Whoa, that's a major drop. Now, it's not 144, but it's certainly not 260 either. That's a major drop. Uh, and this is for the week ending August 22nd. Now, continuing claims as people are on unemployment, continuing, that grew to 1.44 million, up 26,000 from the week before. But it does track behind the headline number. Wow, incredible news. Also breaking news today is the um, job openings number. BLS reported that number and uh, excuse me, last week. And that number rose point times 11.2 million, just shy of two employees per one. I had um, the job openings number, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. And that job and openings number grew, so there was more openings than before. Now, remember, that's not job creation. So if someone quits their job, there's a job opening. It doesn't mean there's a new job created. Productivity was released today by BLS, and this is breaking news. Productivity declined. Uh, it's all because of sirloin. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps on tripping on Javiel Aid's scarves. That's why there's no, productiv no productivity. Productivity declined in the second quarter, but not as, as significant as Wall Street is looking at. Um, it, it, it was interesting across the board. Here's an item that I featured on this channel. Oh, boy, I think since 2020. But I haven't mentioned it in a long time, so I want to remind you about it. It's free stimulus. Uh, it's a free offering, but it's been around for a while, and I want you to know that it still exists. It's free internet. There was a time on this channel that I made a lot of jokes about because I said, do you want internet coffee? Oh, internet, <laughs> of course. And it just drew a lot of people's excitement at the time. So I want to remind you, there's free internet still from the Affordable Co Connectivity Program, which gives... Um, which gives either free internet or a discount on internet, um, and then sometimes it's one time, sometimes it's monthly. It all depends across the board. It was part of the the bipartisan legislation passed in November 2021. And a lot of the internet companies, when you call them up, they'll, the, the telephone prompt will actually mention it, saying if you're on SNAP or you're on SSI or SSDI or something like that, or government assistance, immediately ask for it right across the board. Here's the comment by the SEC chairwoman, Jessica Rosenwassel, when it was announced. The response to the emergency broad, broadband benefit program proved what we need to be true. Cost of high-speed internet is out of reach for too many Americans. It is. It's just averaging about $50 a month when you have to pay for it. Uh, wow. <laughs> what is this week looking like? So it's looking like, while this is not new stimulus, it's looking like it's a great week because we've had a lot of success stories for stimulus. Dragon got $145,000. Congratulations to her. Margaret got went back and got more money. And we have a lot of money that viewers are getting. There is now 12 categories, 12 categories of stimulus checks, four stimulus checks, law, law. And those four, 12 categories yield to about 100 to 200 checks and on average about 100 to 200 thousand dollars. And the viewers of this channel have really taken it and done it bigger and bolder of it. I'm so proud of you. We were talking about items as generally three to four months, just, you know, four or five, just three or four months ago. And now viewers are doing 14 months of rent, 14 months of utilities, 12 months of utilities. It's just happening left and right. We'll get to those incredible checks in just a second. Go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. I don't know if I mentioned that yet in this video. You need to become a member to get these incredible checks. They're all featured in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Go under this video right now. Join the channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Stay the very end because I go over all these incredible checks one at a time. What the checks are, how to get them. This is an education, informational, and news channel. So I do it all for you. So excited you're here with me today. Let's turn to another story before we get to that. 
and that is the earnings recession. Are more companies downward guiding for the rest of this year uh, based upon concerns that they are being impacted by recession and inflation? Yes. So we had more companies falling today as well. And let's look at some of those companies right across the board. Uh, those companies include shockers left and right. Um, some are some of them were released yesterday. Some of them kept on coming in today. Uh, what are some of those companies? So we're going through them together as a family right now. This is the September one list. I haven't had so many lists of companies. Just you know, you know what's just happening. I was looking at my notes and I'm like, okay, is this the list where they fell today? Oh no, it's the, every day. There's like twelve or ten companies falling based upon downward guidance. Hormel Foods fell 4.2%. Downward guidance for today, September 1. Uh, Campbell Soup um, lost 2.4 and gave upbeat forecasts, however. Sienna, 11.6%, missed on top and bottom um, for today's reporting. Land's End, down 8.3% uh, and uh, law missed on top and bottom. Um, then we have Oka, Okta. 16.1%, uh, but they did have an improved outlook that they missed on top and bottom. And that's just today. I had another note in front of me, and I thought it was for today. It was just, it was yesterday. Miss, miss, miss. Now, we did have some companies beat, Phi Below beat, uh, and then New, New Nanix beat, but NVIDIA slid as well. Big trouble across the board. Big, big trouble. Now, um, the comments that are perhaps the most important comments this week are mine. <clears throat> no, not that. They are, <laughs> you knew I was going with that joke. Uh, that was an easy joke. You know they are Loretta Mester's comments. I think I need you to visually memorize this. Loretta Mester, because these are perhaps going to be the most important comments of the week. Maybe the month, maybe the summer. She's a Cleveland Federal Reserve president, and she's not the only Fed president who spoke yesterday. Let's take it back and understand the significance of comments coming in. The Federal Reserve returns in September. They're battling inflation. They've been battling inflation since January. Inflation cannot stay around long. Why? Because it becomes what's called entrenched, embedded. You get used to paying higher for a product you would never pay at that price, like milk. You would never pay for it $5. Well, you're getting used to it, and they want to raise it before you get used to it. And so the way they do it is they raise interest rates once a month at the F. OMC meeting. They've been doing it since January. How long has it worked? Very little. <laughs> Last year, I was the first person to report in any broadcast meeting that we're going into prolonged inflation at 8%, when everyone else was saying a temporary transitory 2 or 3%. They were wrong. And then when it came in in January at 8%, then I said they're not going to get it down quickly because it's caused by supply chain disruption, gasoline, and other things like that. And they've not. Since January, they got inflation from about 8.5% to 8%. 0.5%. <laughs> now, I did go to 9.1, but they got down to about 8.15%. It hasn't moved much at all. So they had all told us, these Fed presidents, in the days leading up to last Friday, we're going to do inflation, infl interest rate spikes continuing this fall until we get inflation to a target of 2%. Then, last weekend, and the weekend before that, I said there's something wrong. There's something wrong. The Fed governors tell you what they're doing. I'm telling you what they say they're going to do. And I'm saying that they're going to do exactly what they're going to do, which is interest rate spikes every meeting for the rest of this year. Potentially 7%. Actually, it would be 75 basis, 75 basis point. Until they get to target rate of 2%. Very simple, because this is what they've been saying. And Wall Street said, no. Federal Reserve is going to change their mind. No, Federal Reserve is going to do a Fed pivot, which means they're going to change their mind. No, Federal Reserve is going to stop interest rate spikes by October. You know how ridiculous that is? Because inflation is 8.5%. How are you going to get to 2% in one month? It's ridiculous. Who's saying that? Stockbrokers, stock analysts, stock investors. Because they want you to buy, 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 buy. No, we're not going to buy. Because the Fed Reserve is not done with interest rate spikes. And all last week and the week before, they said, buy, 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 buy. No, 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 we're not buying. Because guess what's happening? Federal Reserve is telling you what they're going to do. So the president of the Federal Reserve Board, Jay Powell, Spoke at Jackson Hole, I think it was last Friday at this point, I'm losing track of which week we're in, and he said, what the Fed governors have been telling you is correct, but let me make it a little bit more direct to you, make my words a little bit more direct. That's another word of saying, you're not listening to me. 
How do we know that? Because yesterday, we had the Fed president from New York, John Williams. He's from Chuck Schumer's land. You know he's going to be direct because he's a New Yorker. And what did he say? We're not going to do something for a short period of time that change course. <laughs> We're going to do this for some time. Jay Powell said for some time. He said for some time. Now, the problem was for some time, we did not know what some, for some time really meant. I knew what, you and I generally knew what it meant. For some time, when they say for some time, it means by December is for some time. But for some time, we've been waiting to hear what for some time means. Now we know what for some time means. A long time. Loretta Mester made those huge comments from Cleveland's Federal Reserve President yesterday, and she said, we could potentially be doing this for subsequent years. <gasps> You're the Elizabeth child that showed up uh, at, at, at Willow Hollow? <laughs> it's just one of those, it's one of those soap opera moments. She said, what? No. <laughs> yeah, she said it. She said what she wanted her to say. Uh, we're not going to get inflation to 2% by December. We're going to be doing this for several years, subsequent years. Yeah. You don't get inflation from 85 to 2% that quickly. And folks, this is a big wake-up call. Why? Because it's September. Why? Let's pull up that graphic I've been talking about for months. A financial cliff is coming in. When do I say? Right this month. That financial cliff I've been talking about for a long time, and I want to pull up the graphic if I can grab it. I just saw it. There it is. It's September to January. Financial cliff. Why? Because people were not betting on this to happen. In fact, they were betting against it. They were running their own narrative, their fake narrative, that, you know, Fed Reserve is done, the labor numbers are going to be great, go buy stocks, go buy crypto, we're at the bottom, I buy the dip, they buy the dip, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, look how well that's done for them. Stock market was down 1,000 points last Friday, down another 500, 400, 500 points yesterday, down, it'll be down again today. It's going to continue to be down because the Wall Street betted against this. What do you not bet against? You don't bet against this channel. You don't bet against the Federal Reserve. You don't bet against stimulus. And that's why you need to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. The reason I used to show that graphic almost every five minutes on these videos was because I need you to get money before there's a stimulus stampede. Stimulus stampede is going to happen. Not because of the labor, because the labor is looking a little bit better every single day, but because there's going to be a house. There is a housing market recession. There's going to be a stock market recession, or there already is. You can't have the stocks down 500 points. Let me make it very clear to you what the stock market looks like right now. This was early this year, and then when the comments came in um, about interest rate spikes, then June was low. Then they started to rally up straight since June. Tesla went on a tear, for example, straight up. And then when j Powell made those comments, straight down. So we are almost at the lows of June, which would be almost the lows of 52 week for the markets. This is why you got to get a force so much check in every U.S. state. I got to tell you, we've been talking about September being very, very bleak. And it's starting to look bleak everywhere but labor. And all you have to hear is that the energy costs are going to go up. And guess what? Then <laughs> it's going to be even more bleak. What do you do? You go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Congratulations to Dragon and to Margaret. Margaret the first and Dragon the second. Two individuals to become triple members of this family. They are now members of LA1, LA2, and LA3. Are, have you become a member to the other channels? Have you subscribed to the other two channels? Because guess what? Those other two channels are bringing on new series in the next few days. Let's go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. The first three are A, B, and C. Passed by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. We've been getting some since March. For any troll that jumps in the live chat said, what are they going to get done? They've been getting it done since March. My viewers have wads of cash in their wallet. What have you been doing? Collecting donuts, discounts? Uh, $100,000. Of course, so much checks are in every U.S. state. Passed by executive action of Joseph Biden. These are incredible checks. And then you qualify. They're federal stimulus. They're not from your states. They're paid by the federal government, coming from the federal government. How do you get it? You become a member. And you get them, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Bevits, Veterans Bevits, on benefits, on Bevits, not on Bevits, with children, not on children. Become a member. How? Go on to the video. Join the channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get this incredible newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. One of the great benefits of the newsletter is, of course, the worksheets. Where are the worksheets? <laughs> First, 
The newsletter delivered to you via YouTube Alerts. Got that? Okay, let's move on. The worksheets. Where are the worksheets? In the newsletter. If you didn't hear that, replay it. <laughs> you know, those incredible worksheets. What do we know about today? The worksheets are a series of pages, a PDF you can print out from your cell phone or computer, download it, and write on a separate piece of paper. What do we know about these wonderful worksheets today? Page one, inflation. So we had that personal consumption expenditure index released a week ago flat. We had the retail sales flat, the, first, the PPI flat. Is there an indication that inflation may be going higher, going lower, or flat? It looks like it's flat across the board. Uh, recession, housing recession, very pronounced, very, very severe, getting underway, and it's going to get worse. L the corporate America's recession, absolutely very clear. Companies downward guiding day after day. And then a labor recession, not so far, because labor improved today at 232000 I got to tell you, for every analyst that wants to say it's a great environment because labor is so good, labor doesn't fall apart at the beginning of a recession. I haven't said that a few, for about a week on this channel. It's an important historical economic data. Labor falls apart at the end of a recession. It never falls apart at the start of a recession. More importantly, that does not, that means, or that translates as, you cannot say there's no recession because labor's strong. Labor's always strong at the start of a recession. It falls apart at the end of a recession. And the Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve likes to give you guidance. They did. Federal Reserve likes to tell you what they do. They did. What did Wall Street do? Ignore it. And that's why the markets crash. Because when Jay Powell said, you're ignoring me, and then Master and Williams say, you're ignoring what we're saying, it's becoming pervasive. And they basically said, Master said, you need to listen to what we're saying. Um, let me read Muster's comments. Um, her, she said something along the lines of, um, we'll be doing this for subsequent years. you got to listen to us, the Federal Reserve said. And if you don't, you're going to be crashing. That's why they're crashing. The second page of the worksheets are huge. This is the big success one. It's important to use the worksheets because it's a way to keep track of all the stimulus you're applying for. Why? Because there's a lot of stimulus to apply for now. There's 100 to 200 checks to apply for, and we're going to go over all those incredible checks right now. Check A is one category of check and one check. Check B and check C are one category, about 100 plus checks. Why? Because the average view of this channel is getting about 14 months, and then it's your rent or mortgage plus your utilities. That's five checks a month times 14 months. That's a lot of money. That is check B and C. Check E through K, which are next in the newsletter, are individual one-check categories. Um, they are all together in the newsletter. Then when you go to check L, it's one check. Check M, it's a cluster of different checks. So there's a lot of checks to apply for. That, if you keep track of it, that's about 200 checks right there. Uh, let's go over some of the success stories. So, of course, Dragon getting 143000 in the last few days. Link Land getting 12 months of utilities and some months of rent. Two viewers, two separate viewers getting 14 months of rent, and then one viewer getting 12 months of utilities, different than Link Glenn. And then Spella getting check A and check C's, a couple of them, and one viewer out of Florida getting 80 to 100 checks. It's incredible. 80 to 100 checks. You deserve these big sums of money. She got her mortgage and she got all her utilities out of the state of Florida, check B. Use the worksheets. It helped her. Why? Because when they approved her, she forgot what she had applied for. She had that worksheet in front of her. I print out extra copies of that worksheet because you make lose track of what you applied for. There are so many checks to apply for. And when you get to check C, it's 12 places to reach out to. So it's a lot of places to keep track of. The next page is Fist Stimulus, the raise of your benefits. The page after that is Gasoline. We'll go over more about that tonight on Evenings LA. And with that, let's cut back to your, uh, as the paper clip goes flying, let's cut back to your benefits. Your benefits are going up a lot. Why? Because inflation has gone up a lot. Has it peaked? Well, we don't know. But the component parts do not indicate that they have. Let's go over why this is and how it works. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, cost of living adjustment, and it's determined by another number, the CPI-W in the month of July, August, and September. The July number released just a few days ago, and it basically, on August 10th, it showed it was pulling back about a half a percentage point. 
but the component parts were still going up. So we need to see that August number released, September 10th, the September number released, October 10th. But since then, the PPI, the retail sales, and also the personal consumption expenditure index were all basically flat. So if that's the case, then it looks really good that your benefits are going to come in whoppingly high. I'll have more about this tonight on Evans LA across the board. Your benefits, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, and Veterans benefits. Multiple benefits, yes, that as well. 5000 for you, some of you more, some of you less. Go get it. Uh, it. What do you do? You don't have to do anything. <laughs> it comes by direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. Same percentage raise for everyone? Absolutely. So what are we looking at, and what percentage are we seeing so far? Well, we have the salaries flat or going higher. I look like I think it looks flat. The rent flat. It doesn't look like it's going higher. It looks like it's flat at the moment. Milk and eggs flat or going higher. Do you think it's going down? I don't think it's going down. I think it's about flat. And then the gasoline. Now this is really interesting. The unleaded AAA national average down a lot every day, down another ten cents. And then the Brent crude going up every single day. Although it pulled down yesterday. Uh, last three-day weekend, it went really high after the three-day weekend was over. So we'll see what happens across the board. But this is really fascinating. The Seniors League, when look at the data, said 10.1% raise your benefits based upon that August 10th number of 8.5%. I think it's on the conservative side. We'll see that better when we look at the number on September 10th, released for August 10th. And I'm sure the Seniors League will have a comment that day as well. Coming up the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks for you. It is 100, 200 checks. It is check A through check M. It is a lot of checks, about $100,000. So much money. I'm excited you're here. What do you do? You go under the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cow Sino VIP. Get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And go get those incredible checks. How do you do that? We'll go over that together as a family. In the big second half, on the shores of San Marco, California, oh boy, we got a great show coming up in this big second half. See you back in 60 seconds. As Afternoons L8 goes into another big second half with so much money. See you then. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on a beautiful second half for September 1, 2022. For stimulus, so much of it. On top of that, a lifetime stimulus we just went over for your benefits. Remember, when your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say you get a 10.1% raise this year. That's just this year. No, it's a lifetime because once your benefits go up, they never go down. We're tracking more about that benefit raise from... That COLA and that CPI-W on evenings LA tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But time to get some checks. So exciting. There is so much money for you in this big second half. We're going to go over those four small checks in every U.S. state. 
a lot new checks becoming a law. Just so excited. And if you did not see in that first part, or if you joined the video late, I went over the free internet or the discounted internet. Replay that part of the video for you as well. The breaking news continues right now on a big second half of Afternoons LA. Your recession, your inflation, your benefit raise, your housing market, and your unemployment. It's a force stimulus big second half, and it all starts right here, right now on LA Light. I hope you're great across the board. It's just really hot here. <laughs> I know now what it feels like to be a lobster at Mitch's house. Uh, but let's get to the breaking news starting right now. 12 categories of checks, 100 to 200 checks, most of them lost since the month of March. Just incredible. The first three, A, B, C, becoming law in March. Then E through K becoming law about two weeks ago in early August by Act of Congress. And then check L and M located by me last week. Wow. We're going to go over all those incredible checks, A through M right now. What do you do? You become a member. Go on this video, join the channel. Then get the membership newsletter, which is where you get the checks. You apply for the checks in the newsletter delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Don't worry about that. We'll go through all that together starting right now. All you have to do is become a member first and get ready to rock and roll. All right, you ready? Let's get some moolah. The first check is a delicious $6,500 to $12,000 for so much check in every USA. This is a check that Spelly got. How do you get check, eh? Become a member. Go right on the video and Purple Hawk, pur Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Welcome to hundreds of new members. Don't forget to upgrade if you can. And don't forget to stay a member and continue to be a member because this channel had three checks no less than a month ago. Now we have 100 to 200 checks. That's why you want to stay a member because if you don't, you're going to lose that opportunity for more checks. Go into the video. Where you see check A, click the link. It sends you into the nationwide website. Choose your state, then pounce and get those big sums of money. And then the next check is check B, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars across the board. This is the check that the viewer has splits out of uh, Florida got eighty to one hundred checks, just huge. How do you get that check B? You go under the video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Then get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to check B, click the link, and go and apply. Wow. That is $100,000 of checks between A and B. Just so great. But we're not done there yet. We're going to go get check C. Look at check C. It's for renters and utilities and mortgage assistance as well. This is what one viewer got 14 months of rent. Another viewer got 14 months of rent. One viewer got 12 months of utilities. Another viewer, Link Glenn, got 12 months of utilities and rent. And I've been getting these checks for a long time for viewers. This is check C. How do you get it? You go into the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. In the membership newsletter, check C has 12 opportunities of where to reach out to. Can you imagine? 14 months on average times five checks a month times 12 opportunities yeah, you got a lot of effort with a capital E to go through to get these incredible checks. There's a lot of opportunities. And those opportunities have paid off. Viewers have been getting big sums of money for Check C on this channel for several years. It's been featured on this channel for a long time. It has a lot of different names. Let's look at some of the success stories. You want these numbers for rent? Go get it. All the way up from Richard to Elizabeth, 30000 Just so great. How about utilities? Well, here we go. Here are the utility success stories. Go get it. Uh, Margaret got some more utilities just this last week. Congratulations to her. And Mark's brother-in-law got 15000 Lynn Glenn got some utilities as well. She got 12 months of utilities. Here's Snap. Wow. Mark's brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars. Here's Nisi. She went from 23000 to 50000 Mark went from 32000 to one sixty-six, And Lancy went up as well. Here's Mark. He was at 32 then he went to 50 then he went to 100 then he got check B, 166 Here's Lorraine. 105, and then she went to 155. Just incredible. Can you imagine when, when a news channel gives you the opportunity of 12 places to get you rent and utilities? Why would you even second think about it? You know, one utility bill makes sense. But imagine if it's 14 months of utility bills or 12 months of utility bills that people are getting on average from this channel. Why would you even blink an eye thinking about this? Everyone has a utility bill. Most people have a rent or mortgage as well. So this is big money. Go get it. What are you waiting for? We've been doing this on the channel since 2020. $50 million has been obtained by the viewers of this channel. Now, let's go into the new checks. And that became law by Act of Congress about two Sundays ago. 
and viewers have been pouncing for these as well. Check E, $7,500. Check F, 4000 Check G, 30% off. Check H, 2000 Check I, 8000 Check J, 8000 Check K, 14000 My goodness, that's pure deliciousness. Now, that is E through K. They're all together in the membership newsletter. You can go down to them in the newsletter, uh, past A, B, and C, obviously. <laughs> and you find E through K. Now, lower below K, obviously, is L and M. Oh, my God, that's so obvious. <laughs> L is a lot, and M is money. <laughs> L is about $100,000 for purchasing of a home uh, for loan interest rate free money. And then M is lots of free closing costs grant money. You don't have to repay it back at all. It's free money to you. Wow. I mean, this is just incredible. So from A to M, look how much money that is. And look how many checks that is. I keep on saying 100 to 200 checks. Every time I record a video, I think it's almost 300 checks. I don't even think it's 200 checks. And it's so much potential money. It's really not even 100,000. It feels like it's all, even a lot more than that. Become a member. Go right on this video. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. I want to go back to this indication of recession versus not recession. I want to go back to this Federal Reserve and why everything really goes back to the Federal Reserve and understand that re recession and inflation are really two items you have to know really well. And that's why we have three channels in this broadcasting family now. You have LA1, which you may be watching. You have LA3, which is your economy. You have LA2, which is your stimulus. you got to watch LA3, which, of course, is going to have cooking. <laughs> so you're going to watch that because you know you're going to watch the cooking. Uh, LA3 is all about the economy. You really need to know what's going on because things can turn very bad in this economy very quickly because I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I mean... You know, there's always been stock analysts that have things wrong. I mean, I, someone once told me, ignore everything they say because they're always wrong. But this time around, they are advising their clients against using words that is not what the Federal Reserve has said. Imagine that. I mean, they have a fiduciary duty to tell you what the Federal Reserve is saying, and they're saying, no, it's going to be the opposite of what the Federal Reserve said. Why? What is your basics basis for the Fed pivot? That the Federal Reserve is not going to do what their own words coming out of their mouth say they're going to do. It's very dangerous. And I got to tell you, how different has the market, this economy, been since Jay Powell spoke at Jackson Hole? The day before Jackson Hole, I was recording that we had Boulard, Daily, Bowman, all saying, get ready because Wall Street is not listening to us. We're doing interest rate spikes starting September indefinitely to get to 2% inflation. And Wall Street's not listening to us. And they ignored those three people, those three governors. So then they always listen to Jay Powell. He spoke the next day at Jackson Hole. He says, let me be a little bit more direct to you. I don't want to talk about other things. I want to be a little bit more direct to you. That's a very polite way of saying, you're not listening to us. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to my Fed governors. Stock market down 1,000 points. It should not have happened. It should not have happened because Wall Street was ignoring the words of the Federal Reserve. And every day after that, Market down 500 points, down 500 points, down 500 points. And what are you hearing? Bye, 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 bye. No. Bye, 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 bye. No. Buy the dip. No. I got to tell you, I've never seen a universe in which everything is beautiful. A bear market which goes on for a long time is not a beautiful environment. A recession that goes on for a long time is not a beautiful environment. And I had that comment from someone yesterday. I think it was, uh, was that Blinky? Binky. Here he is. Binky. Remember Binky? Binky Chadwa, uh, Chad Ha, chief global strategist at Deutsche Bank, uh, said, I would remind people that a bear market rallies are frequent and large. He's basically saying they go on for a long time. Whether it is a YouTuber that tells everyone to buy on every single dip and is going to absolutely drain your funds because you're absolutely going to be on the wrong side of the equation. You can't buy every dip because the, you're going to continue, because this is every dip. Down, 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 down. So you buy here, it's lower. You buy here, it's lower. You buy, you're going to lose your shirt. People who said, you know, two weeks ago, oh, there's resistance of Bitcoin at 21,000. And the next day it goes to 19,000. And it's been at under 21,000 every single day since then. That was not time to celebrate. People say, oh, the housing market's really good because the prices are sustaining themselves. No, 
There's a housing recession. Housing recession is different than the prices that sustain themselves. People think that a housing recession doesn't exist because the prices sustain themselves. They don't continue to sustain themselves in a housing recession. We're at the start of the housing recession. And then labor. Labor. When people take the labor number and say, oh, it's great times are here to stay because the labor numbers are really good. And that's coming out from the actual words of the White House. Yeah. I got to tell you, when it goes back to the universe of stimulus, where do we see it the worst? People who read a title, read a word, read four words, and think they know the entire universe of stimulus. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No, thank you. Maybe they watched a video a year ago. Maybe they read an article a year ago. Whatever happened to CR for stimulus? Whatever happened to uh, the second stimulus? Whatever happened to Steve Mnuchin? Are Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi still negotiating? <laughs> <laughs> I would love someone to say that to me. I mean, yeah. Excuse me? Are Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi still negotiating? Did they finish the negotiations? <laughs> Whatever happened to the problem solvers? They're still solving problems. Uh, excuse me? Whatever happened to the blue dogs? Uh, get to the present day. <laughs> get to the present day. Uh, because there's a lot of money. And you know what this is? Calendar Colleen's month. <laughs> Calendar Colleen's month. Whatever happened to September, if you knew this channel, we had a character on this channel. I don't even know if I saw the graphic. Uh, she was a ca character, a, ca a cast of characters, who basically kept on saying, whatever happened. I don't have the graphic here for her. Whatever happened to September? And she kept on referring to something in the pack, in the past. And it's sort of like there's a new version of whatever happened in July. And when people say that, I don't know which July they're referring to. It's sad. But I don't know which July they're referring to. This is now. Get the money now become a member now the financial cliff is happening now the recession is underway now the inflation has not come down now the stock market is crashing now cryptocurrency is not sustaining itself it's very low now i can't have people thinking in false narratives where there's wall street the white house i can't have people thinking with da against data points that are very pronounced the data says this the data says this i can't have people thinking against the federal reserve governors when they say what they're going to do and I can't have people talking about stimulus that is, you know, <laughs> not a reality. The money featured on this channel from A to M are all from the federal government. All from the federal government. Paid by the federal government. I don't cover state stimulus. I don't cover what your governor does. I don't cover what your city does. This is from the federal government. There is money for you. You want to get it, go get it. You don't want to get it, fine, don't get it. I'm not here to, uh, to give stimulus to you. And every time that someone doesn't want to get it, it makes more money available for the rest of the viewers, the Purple Hawks, who do want to get that money. Join me next on Evenings LA from the shores of San Monica, California. It's tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. What do you do? You go under the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. I want to thank again Dragon and Margaret for becoming triple members on three channels of this broadcasting family. Meantime, I want to thank the members who have now become members in renewal today for 18 months. That is just a, a, a big testament. I'm going to check if to see if there's anyone past 18 months, but that's just enormous. And maybe it's maybe it's 20 months. Just incredible. Stay a member, become a member. A proud family of Purple Hawks. You want to become a proud member of this community that works together and plays together. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, here again is L8-3 and L8-2. If you miss them, jump over to those incredible channels over the weekend. I think I'll be ready with some new programming for you across the board. Thank you